What's up, guys? When we're here, we're in Stevens Point, Wisconsin at Goodwill. I've had a good track record here, except for today, where I only found a grave digger, which I think would fit the 124s, but I'm not sure. So next stop is a brand new Goodwill at Plover, Wisconsin. Not sure how long this was here. I found a Dale Jr. and a Jimmy Johnson shirt. Picked both of them up. Also found a shirt from my stepdad, who isn't here. He's back in North Carolina. Next up is Nice as New. And we found a Dale Jr. Polo. But left it there. I wasn't sure if I could sell it or not. And I did find a Matt Kenseth shirt new with tags. It was a medium, so it'll be up for sale on Etsy. So that's a pretty nice looking shirt. Next up, we went to a Diamond Dollar, but it was closed. Like, moved or something. So off we went to an antique mall called Antique Up or Antique UP. I'm not sure. But I did see a $15 Bobby Allison signed hero card, which was pretty cool. I left it there. And there are some pretty cool Miller Racing bar signs as well, which I believe that's Bobby Rahal. Saw this uh, $17 Racing Champions 124 with no box, left it there. Here is a Dale Jarrett stand, $5 for that, left that there. He did have a few things. There's a Dale Jarrett, there's a remote control 164, which were made for Walmart originally. And over here we have some mini stand-ups, including Kurt Busch and Tony Stewart. And down the way of it is Joey Logano. Look how young Joey is here. Jeez, that's 2009. Some Haviland 124s, left them there, as well as an Etch-a-Sketch Dale Jr., and the find of the day, no, not these. These are pretty nice, but they didn't have boxes. I was almost going to pick up that Rusty, but I picked this one up instead because it did have a box. That's a 60 to $80 car that I picked up for 17 bucks. Bunch of bobbleheads and that Joe Nemechek Uncle Cracker. Jimmy Spencer had a bobblehead in here, too. It was really weird. Now, I've been seeing this the last few years I went. And Paul Menard... Uh, 143rd, and they wanted 35 bucks for it, so pass. Next up is St. Vinny's in Wausau. Found a neat-looking Tomahawk Speedway shirt. Left that there. I don't think I can use that, nor would I wear it. And I did pick this up, a Sammy Swindell hoodie, which was really nice. It was also autographed, but it was incredibly faded. So next up is a pawn shop, my brother pointed out, and he mentioned there was this bin of 164s, which I had to check out. Picked up a few uh, Racing Champions 164s out of this, including that Robbie Gordon and a Terry Labonte Die Tech as well. Those Racing Champions are actually going for close to 30 bucks right now in 2005. Yeah, the ones that were $1.99 at Kmart. Or $2 from Family Dollar. Yeah, it's crazy. And I believe uh, one of the last stops of the day was Diamond Dollar Didn't in Wausau. Didn't find anything spectacular here except for the Snow Fear bottle, which I left there. So that'll do it for my trip to Wausau. We went to this consignment shop. There was nothing there. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you later.